we are studying this um, sirtuins and the particular sirtuin 6, uh, which is a very important longevity gene. And we were looking for molecules that activated. We found, and um, actually it was found even before us, but people were looking at activators of the acetylation activity of sirtuins and they found different compounds. And then we found that sirtuin 6 has another activity called monoidipiribosylation. So we, we tested which activator molecules activate that activity as well, because we find that that activity is maybe even more important for human longevity. And we found the seaweed. <laughs> uh, and the compound in seaweed is called fucoidin, which is a short... Um, sugar polysaccharide, uh, a very potent activator of sirtuin 6. Uh, it is found in brown seaweed. And uh, people that consume a lot of seaweed, uh, you know, the countries that consume a lot of seaweed would be Japan, South Korea. And these are countries with the highest life expectancy. So all of this kind of comes together. There are many different species of seaweed. I think in general, seaweed is good for you. For you know, it has many different nutrients that people have been using. So probably any seaweed has some benefits. Uh, but in terms of activating sirtuin six, uh, this compound is found in certain species of brown seaweed, uh, and we in the laboratory tested different batches of seaweed because if you just, you know, buy seaweed, it would be from different uh, oceans and uh, different locations. So they are not all the same. Uh, and uh, from, you know, if you take 10 batches, maybe three of them will have a strong activating uh, activity. So we tested in the laboratory, we find that some of the batches have stronger activation. Um, so we, we don't yet know exactly what determines it, you know, maybe really conditions under which this seaweed was growing, how much sunlight it was getting. Well, so uh, Fucoidin in general, you know, it's possible to buy it as a supplement. Um, but of course, in that case, you still don't know if that will be a good activator or not. So uh, we collaborate with the uh, supplement uh, pro longevity company Do Not Age. And we test for them batches of seaweed. So you can buy from them CERT-6 activator that we tested, you know, we don't test like it every day, but they send us a sample from every new lot that they get and we test it, activate CERT-6. In this yep. case, you can get a product that's been verified. <laughs> you know, it is, a, it is a polysaccharide, so it's, it's food, it's very safe. Uh, we know that it activates sirtuin-6, and uh, sirtuin-6 is an enzyme uh, that is in the nucleus of every cell, and it is responsible for maintaining um, our DNA packaged in the right way. Um, and when we get older, sirtuin-6 may just um, may not be enough of it to maintain our DNA in good shape. Uh, and by maintaining good shape, I mean that it's not only it helps repair mutations uh, or damage, but also it, it just helps keeping it organized. Because you can imagine DNA is, very, is a very long molecule, right? And this is like if you have a, you know, this thread and it gets all tangled together. So it needs to be very well organized. Uh, and as we get older, like every cycle of cell division, DNA gets unraveled and packaged back together, or every time a gene is transcribed, again, it's to be opened and put together. So it gets m messed up. It, it's almost like, you know, if you fold laundry in your sock drawer, like when we are young, it's all very nice and organized, but over time you go in and out, pull things, <laughs> and then it becomes a mess. So what sirtuin 6 can do, it can go back and just organize things back together. Um, so what um, seaweed can do, help here is that it just provides a boost to sirtuin 6, it activates it, and it can be, you know, a little bit more efficient in doing its job with, where it, it needs this help as we get older because there, there, there is more, <laughs> more laundry to fold at that point.
will long-lived people have higher CIRT6 activity or would it benefit humans to have higher CIRT6 activity? And here I want to show a family of centenarians. So this lady is 115 years old in this picture and these are five generations of her descendants. And now yeah, she uh, is holding her great-great-great-great-great-daughter uh, in her arms. Uh, so these people called centenarians, uh, they are also many of them are exceptionally healthy. They live independently, they uh, maintain employment and come back to the office uh, almost to the age of 100. So they don't develop or they develop very late these age-related diseases. So we want to really achieve that for everyone. Why any, everyone couldn't live to 115 and stay healthy like that and uh, see five generations of descendants? Uh, so we collaborated with the laboratory of Yusin Su, uh, who was sequencing genomes of centenarians, and we looked whether there are any mutations in this gene CERT6 uh, that would be more common in centenarians. Uh, and we found two mutations in the C terminus of CERT6 protein in about the same region where we had differences between mouse and beaver. So we took those two mutations, uh, we engineered them, we tested how they affect the function of CERT6. Uh, and this is a DNA repair assay. Uh, we compare, so this would be the wild type CERT6, like all of us in this audience have, and this is CERT6 from centenarians. So it was better at inducing DNA repair. So that makes sense, right? So better DNA repair, longer life. Uh, it was also better at maintaining heterochromatin. So these are, this is our genome. And only a small fraction of it encodes for genes, like very small. Everything else are these repetitive elements or so-called genomic parasites, lines and signs that actually unravel as we get older. And CERT6 keeps them silent. So we compared uh, wild type CERT6 and centenarian CERT6 and how good are they at keeping line one element silent and centenarian was better. So it was better in these two different functions that are very much linked to longevity and the way it was achieving that uh, was by binding to another very interesting protein called lamin A. Uh, Juan Carlos mentioned lamin A in yesterday's talk, so this is a very important protein in maintaining the structure of the nucleus, which would be the structure of that sock drawer. Uh, and here CERT6 binds to it, and the centenarian one binds more tightly and helps to maintain the whole structure more efficiently. So we still come to the same, the same idea of maintaining epigenome. Uh, so this is, you know, the process of aging, uh, this is the bad thing that happens to our epigenome, but now we have strategies to reverse it. Um, to achieve epigenetic rejuvenation, uh, there are many different ways that can be developed to this end. Juan Carlos was talking about Yamanaka factors, um, also um, laboratory of Juan Carlos and Manuel Serrano uh, are looking for other ways, pharmacological ways to do the same thing. Uh, we also find these epigenetic factors like CERT6 uh, that their job is putting epigenome back together so that may be another strategy and this way we can actually not only slow down aging but achieve rejuvenation.